Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about five frameworks which we should learn in 2023. Please subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get the instant notification when I upload new tutorials. Today I'm gonna discuss about five frameworks from which you should learn at least two or maybe one. Number five, Ruby on Rails. If you don't know Java, Python, C Sharp or JavaScript, then you should go for it. It's challenging to build a modern web application, but the Ruby on Rails make it easier and make it more fun. So the Rails basically uh, works on a model view controller framework. So it's easier to integrate this uh, with the front-end technologies. It could be a simple HTML or front-end frameworks. We can see here well-known organizations which are using it are Basecamp, Hey, GitHub, Hulu, Twitch, Airbnb, Coinbase. So it holds a good future and uh, it also provides a good salaries in current market and its demand is rising each and every day. If you see here, the versions are updated quite frequently in recent years. So it is good to learn this technology if you want to go with the backend. Take us to the number four. The number four is Django. Django is a full stack framework, so it contains both front-end and back-end. It's a Python-based web framework that allows the model template view architectural pattern, which means you don't have to go to any other technology for back-end and front-end. So you just work on this framework, use Python, you build the end-to-end -end application here. And the most prominent organization which use Django are provided here. Instagram, Mozilla, Discuss, Bitbucket, Nextdoor, and Clubhouse. These are few of the examples, but more of the organizations use it. Uh, so, which leads to us, what should we do with it? We should learn it. It has extensive more demand in the current market and its versions are updated frequently every year, which you saw here. You can see it has extended support till 2025, even 2026. So it's going to be here for a while. So it provides a good salary, good uh, number of jobs are available, good feature. Now, number three. Number three is basically a backend framework called Spring Boot. Now, if you are from Java background, you cannot avoid this framework. And uh, why this framework is important in the backend is because it's easier to build and deploy the stand alone, your whole API, your whole backend application, and just run it as a serverless. Because it, in, internally, it has the web server which it needs. And well-known website which uses the Spring Boot are Cred, Udemy, and almost all banking applications use a Spring as their framework, which internally will be using the Spring Boot. There is no question about its future. And if you go and search the jobs on a Spring Boot, you will get countless number of jobs available. It provides a great salaries as well. Which takes us to number two. So number two is Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript backend framework. If you know the JavaScript or have basic understanding of it, then you must go with the Node.js. And some of the corporate users of Node.js uh, include Skodaddy, Groupon, IBM, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Netflix, SAP, Walmart, and AWS. This holds a great future. It has a vast job market. It also provides easy to learn another frameworks which are based on JavaScript. Huge salaries are available on this. Number one. Now this spot is tied between the Angular and the React and they both are front-end frameworks. Angular uses TypeScript, React uses JavaScript. You can go with anyone, either React or Angular. But if you're already working on a backend, so it's better for you to go with Angular if you're from Java background and React.js if you're from Node.js or JavaScript uh, frameworks. A rest is your choice. Both frameworks are built and supported by Google supports Angular and Facebook supports React.js. So that's all for this video. 
I would recommend you to check out the courses provided in the descriptions for more details. And please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Have a good day ahead. Thank you so much.